Do that. Let's do this. All right, tutorial time, people. It's been a while. Are we in the middle, Nathan? Oh God, this is not a good idea to, this is probably not the way to start the video. All right, cool, send me that. Oh, fuck <laughs> it. Oh, Sorry, bro. that actually, is there a mark? <laughs> that actually smashed me. Yeah, you're a good one. All right, this is a great intro idea. Anyway, what's cracking me? <laughs> Alright, here we go. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle People. And once again, another fire skipping tutorial. Summer is done now, people. Officially in the UK, it's cloudy. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's just UK, UK stuff. All right, anyway, I'm going to be sharing with you today how to get your 360s done exactly like the master Brian Veloria right now. I've made this video back in the day, right? I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to meet the man himself uh, at his boxing gym in, the, in California it was, right? And he showed me how to do this move. And I have done a tutorial on this, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a very quick tip, the secret behind how he makes it look so slick, okay? So it's gonna be a very quick video, but it's gonna be very advanced, okay? So if you don't know how to do any 360s at all, you need to go use that search bar up above and just type in Rush Athletics 360s and you just need to get up to speed, all right? If you're not sure what ropes we use on this channel, what merch, what mats, all right? If you're new, first of all, hit that subscribe button. Links all down below, all right? That's where you need to go. I'm using, of course, the new Money Rope Performance, aka Money Rope 2.0, right? This is a beast of a rope, go pre-order yours now. Guys, all right, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial. And uh, before we get started, I wanna share with you this quick, very cool Ignite Edition portable mat, all right? Super thick. Very, very easy to carry around with you, throw it down, and it's very, very thick, all right? So it's gonna be out in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned on my social medias, I'm gonna show you more details and we'll do some little videos on it, of course, as always. So look, quick tutorial. What is the Brian Valoria 360 now? Brian is a boss, all right? When I went to go meet him up, um, I'd already told him how much, uh, how much he inspired me, right, to get into skipping. But one of the reasons why he inspired me was because he came out with moves and came out with tricks that were, that were kind of, it just, awe-inspiring, right? When I watched them, I couldn't believe what the hell I was seeing. But at the same time, it's one of those tricks and moves that, that I guess once you learn how to do, it literally just skyrockets your skipping game, okay? And it's not one of those ones that kind of is just flashy, right? It looks cool, it looks slick, um, but you can manage it and, and kind of add it into your routines. And it just makes the whole kind of experience of your workouts super, super fun, all right? So we'll do it in slow motion first, here, and then skipping, all right? One more time and then skipping. Now, I'm pausing here at the, at the end of the spin, but I'm just gonna be showing you with you the tips and the techniques how to get this spin done correctly and make it look slick, right? Brian said to me, right, when it comes to doing this spin, um, how he came up with it was managing the timing of the actual turn. And the only way you could do that is with where you place your feet. So that's the kind of trick and the kind of explanation I'm gonna give you today. You're gonna to find out what's your kind of dominant side you're gonna to spin to or turn. Um, mine is always gonna be clockwise, so to my right. That means that I'm only gonna be starting the spin like this, all right? So this chest is going to the right. I would say go from boxer step. You could try to do it from basic bounce and then go, but it's not as clean. We wanna to get to the point where, like I said, it's an advanced tutorial. You wanna go from the point where you're doing a boxer step at least. And then this is the, this is the secret right now, that move, all right? So that's what you're gonna try and train your body is just that little half step open the body and that just about when you're about to do this move. So first step is just practicing this drill We're here. Three, two, one, and that. This gives you basically the illusion that what he does is when he spins around, he's already spinning from this side on already. So he's already done a quarter of the turn. It's very difficult to go straight from skipping here and do a full 360 without kind of going off balance. So just remember that it's gonna be open the body, right? Halfway, or I say halfway, quarter, before you start doing this move. Get, get used to doing that. 
And once we're here now, that little half, halfway point, you're going to bring both your hands to your favoured side, right? So like I said, I'm moving clockwise. You're going to move your, your whole body right around with this rope. And what's going to happen is your dominant hand is going to always stay on top when it comes to doing the move. So mine being the left hand, we're here. And then I do this kind of half motion here, ready to do the move. And the left hand is up here, right hand down here. This is the key point now, okay? We're gonna to have to generate some speed in the rope. As you're jumping, we're gonna to have to generate some speed in the rope to do this backward jump like this. And this is where, the, this is where it becomes a bit difficult, but the, the real secret is just getting the timing of this and then bringing your hands around. So what he said to me was, just think of it like this. When you're skipping, you can hear the rope. One, two, three, four. Three, four. The sound, of, the sound of the spin should happen like that in an instant, okay? So you don't wanna, you don't wanna do this jump like half-heartedly. You wanna go straight into this jump. From the side point on here, you wanna go straight into the jump, commit to it like that, okay? When you land, when I say when you land, you're gonna be off balance. It's gonna be a natural thing. So you just need to get that muscle memory. So when you land, absorb the, absorb the kind of landing. So you don't wanna come here and be straight on because you're gonna, gonna be off balance. Land, and what I like to do is kind of crouch a little bit, absorb the landing. So it's here, brace yourself, go into the 360 when you're ready, absorb it, right? So when you absorb it here, you allow the rope to kind of slow itself down and you can start jumping. When you get better, of course, you don't need to kind of have that pause for so long. So getting back to the 360 now, we've done this half step, which is a secret here. From this point on, you, got to, you have to let the hands go. The hands need to come around your body to generate enough speed for this, this backward jump. And when you're doing this backward jump, I'm gonna show you from behind. When you're doing this backward jump here now, you have to just make sure that the hands are wider than the body here. If you're too close, you're gonna probably trip. Give yourself some width so you can make that backward jump. Key point, right? Just keep this in mind. When you're doing the backward jump here, you just have to make sure you're loose with the, loose with the grip, okay? So you let the rope come round, swish round you, but you have to make sure it's beside your body, okay? If you keep them a little bit lower, it's gonna help you clear this rope easily. So you're here. You don't wanna be kind of doing it from too high, you're gonna trip. So keep the rope, keep the hands even, keep the hands a little bit lower, a little bit beside your side. And then what we can do now from this backward jump is follow the hands and chest together. So your hands, chest, they stay related. So you're here, and then they move together. So I'm gonna show you from the front now. So once you do this bit, they move together, move together to, for me, the right-hand side. So when you've got this done, right, when you've got everything moving together, that's how you're gonna make it look slick, right? That's how you're gonna make it look nice and smooth as always. Don't go too fast at first. The jump looks quick when I do it. That's because I'm obviously used to keeping the balance, but at first, just do it slowly like this. Just follow, basically follow your hands with the chest, like I said. Follow the movements as you come round. Understand where the rope goes and how you need to open it back up for skipping. It needs to open up with a southpaw, all right? Quick drill to finish it off, how you can get some speed, all right? And get some timing hooked in. Count yourself down, three, two, one, yeah? Keep in sync with the rope beats. So it goes three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Just like that, all right? So, like I said, you see me, I spin, Absorb the bounce, keep your balance. It's gonna look really, really nice and effortless if you do it that way. Then when you get better, you can start to kind of mix it in with routines. You can spin, go into like a running step. Um, I've got videos of this as well like on my social media, Instagram, just to show you guys ideas of what you could do with this move. So, whew, out of breath as always. People, um, much love. As always, behind these, these doors, it's just mayhem, it's just madness. Like, this launch was out of this world. The pre-order was our biggest recorded launch uh, in our whole history, the last four years. And uh, it's always down to you, all the love and respect and just support is just out of this world. So thank you so much. And um, hopefully they'll be going out soon, if you're wondering. Uh, more products, mats, Ignite Rope, it's all coming. It's all, it's all being shipped very, very soon. So uh, listen, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are giving this a go. Please, please, please give this a video a big thumbs up. That'd be really useful helps this channel grow and help more humans around the world fly like a boss. 
drop a comment let me know if you find it useful and i'll see you guys in the next video as always so take care of yourself skip the treadmill stay safe peace was the knight in shining armor in your movie would put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now